Let's talk about how to start a Google Meet video conference to meet with students, parents, or other colleagues virtually. First, you're going to want to navigate to meet.google.com in your Chrome browser. This is where you can launch or join a meeting. In this video, we're just going to talk about starting a new meeting. So you're going to click Start a New Meeting. And then it's going to tell you right away that your meeting is ready. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to turn off my camera and the microphone to limit the possible feedback and other audio issues. This tells you all you need to know to share this meeting with participants, students, parents, anyone. It gives you the address right here, meet.google.com, and then it gives you a unique code at the end. It also gives you an option to dial in if the parents or students cannot use a laptop or a smartphone, but they can call into the call and talk to you. It gives them a PIN number as well. So you obviously would not be able to see them at that point, but you could talk to them, okay? Sharing this is just as easy as copying and pasting this information, okay? And then what I would do if I were a teacher is hop over to my Google Classroom and I would create an announcement. And I would call it something like virtual office hours and I would give very clear descriptions and instructions on how to join this. I would even add this as a link there. And then post. So now your virtual office hours material will be right there and students can be directed on how to join. Let's hop back over to the meet. So now we're ready. We're going to click on start meeting. Again, it gives you the option to share the joining info again. You can copy it here and then go paste it where you need to. So now you are here and it tells you, are you talking? Your mic is off. It knows that your microphone is turned off. Again, I'm going to leave mine off for purposes of this video so it doesn't conflict with the video. Let's just talk about what we see here. Real quick on the bottom left, meeting details, more of the same. How do you join again? You can share that. Okay. Over here on the right, you can turn on captions. Since my microphone is turned off, it's not going to work. But if you turn on captions right here in the middle, it will uh, caption what is being said in the video call. It's very, very helpful. Present now means you can actually present your entire screen or just a window of content. So if you wanted to present, say, a presentation to your students or you wanted to show a document and talk through it, you can present your screen or a window to talk through it. The three dots here are, um, you can record the meeting. So you can have an archived recording of these uh, sessions or conferences and they archive to your Google Drive. You can change the layout of how the screen looks. You can go full screen. You can also, again, turn on captions here. You can click on settings. This is mainly your audio and your video settings here. Up in the top right, I'm the only one in the conference, but if you click there, you would see everyone who is in the conference and their name, okay? You can also click here to add more people. You can click on chat and you can have a conversation with people in your chat. A good idea, if you are the one presenting, to suggest to your participants that they mute their microphone so that not all of you are talking at one time. This is especially helpful with large groups. So when you are finished with the call, you can click hang up or leave call. And the call is ended. I want you to notice this right here where it says rejoin. You can go right back into the meeting that you were just in by clicking rejoin. It does not delete the Google Meet just because you close it. 
Also want to share that in Google Classroom, this link will stay active forever. In other words, you do not need to create a new Google Meet link every time you want to meet with your students or parents. You can just keep the same link from session to session. That is how you use Google Meet. Thanks a lot.